What is up everybody, it is Chimsa here, back again with another Proxy Singe gameplay commentary. Today we are up against a Jax in top lane and you are going to see something very interesting happen this game. You are going to see how to come back from a massive mistake that can occur while proxying, as well as just some brilliant uh, team control on my part. Keeping the team together and uh, making plans and carrying through communication, I like to say. Now, first of all, we're starting off in our proxy position here. Now, somebody on the enemy team clearly knows who I am. They played against me before. The bad thing about playing on the OCE server is there's only 10,000 people between like Platinum and Challenger. So it's very easy for people to know who you are. And I just get caught out here and die. That's not as bad as it seems. Um, because basically... A first blood that early gives fuck all gold. And I'm probably going to give first blood as proxy singe anyway. So it's sort of better to give it up now than it is later on. But I've had this happen to me once before. And I remember I completely tilted and panicked off of that. And just couldn't play the game. So I just decided to... Instantly just be very cool and just try and get the team together and explain what's going to happen because I have seen this happen before I know what's going to go on So I tell the team here that Gragas is going to camp me Which I know for a fact if they if someone on their team says, you know, I've played against this guy before he proxies It means I'll probably kick their ass um, <laughs> But yeah, they're they're gonna say like Gragas camps in she's gonna proxy so I know what's gonna happen I know what the enemy team is planning and Laney against Jax early on is not not too bad. Jax is a pretty easy matchup for Singed um, in the lane. So I'm able to just lane against him early on here. He can't do much. Once you get your fling, you just sort of fling him out of any of his shit. But yes, I know exactly what's going to happen. I know that Gragas is going to camp me. Gragas is a very annoying matchup in the jungle for Singed. His slow really fucks you. I generally ban him if I can. But you're going to see me do pretty decently this game. Going to just uh, trade a bit with Jax here. Nothing much is going on right now. Just trying to farm up. I got level 2 now, so I can fling him away. And fling him into my minions. He is going to uh, stun me up, unfortunately. Yeah, like, I'm not really going to be able to beat him early on, but he doesn't bully me out. And that's the good thing. Uh, Singe, you know, obviously sucks against champions that bully him out in the top lane. So, Jax is not one of them. He can't bully Singed out. Singe can generally flip him off. Ah, uh, flip him off of any of his damage. Um, a good Jax will... Wait until you use your fling and then jump on you with uh, his stun running. But this Jax is sort of like mediocre. Sometimes he does it, sometimes he does. Um, doesn't do it. So, you know, whatever. Here I get low, decide to recall, but I'm staying in this bush. So I'm in range of that cannon creep because I want to get the experience of that cannon creep. Sorry. Before I go back, and I do. Uh, early on, in my opinion, it's much more important to get experience and is to get gold from killing the creeps. So that's why being pushed into your tower early is not a disaster, as long as you're getting that experience. Being pushed out of lane early is a disaster. So, you know, I, I got TP, I can just come right back. Jax has TP too, so he has no ignite. He doesn't have the um, pressure to kill me early on here. He uses his jump here, so I just fling him away. If uh, Jax uses his jump and you still have your fling up, you can do anything you want to him. You can just fling him out of anything, and he can't do shit. Now, um, Azir's is going to get a bit fed early on. Uh, I did give him that first blood, so that little bit of extra gold he got, um, he's probably going to use it to bully around Ari a bit. I um, just managed to fling Jack, fling Jax away there. He's pretty low now. He um, has doesn't have much mana. He doesn't have much health, so he's going to have to play very passive, and I'm going to be able to go into set up a proxy here. Consider diving him here. I could like fling auto him into poison, but he levels up there, so I'm like, okay, now it's probably too risky. But if he stayed at level 3, I could have definitely gone in for a... Um, a fling auto and just killed him. And here we go, just as I predicted, a gangbang squad arrives. I don't even have time to ward, they just immediately on me. This just confirms absolutely everything that I knew. Um, you know, when I say that I knew at the start that it would happen, I was just like 99% sure. But now I know if the mid and the jungler are both there at that exact time, they are trying to aggressively shut me down, which is very good. I love this. I love it so much because we have a vain bot lane. And I want to do everything in my power to make sure that Gragas does not go bot lane. To make sure that Azir does not go bot lane. I want them chasing my ass up in that top lane over and over and over again. And that is exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to be the sacrificial lamb, as I say in chat here. And just constantly draw the jungle pressure. That's what you want to do as Proxy Singe. That's the lose-lose situation for Proxy Singe. Junglers have either two choices against you. They can camp the shit out of you, in which case your team gets advantages all around the map. 
This is actually my least preferred thing to happen. Um, I prefer it if junglers literally leave me alone to free farm. That's the other lose situation. If they leave you alone to free farm, you just become a beast and shit stomp everyone with TP players. Um, that works. But junglers camping you is not bad either. Um, it's worse, but it's not bad because your team can just take advantages elsewhere. But the downside to that is obviously if your team is getting shit stomped and outplayed even without, you know, the enemy jungler, that's really soul crushing because you're drawing so much attention and, you know, curse the bot lane, they fucking feed five double kills and you lose the game anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Grag is here again, just as I predicted. However, I noticed Jax is not following me here and Azir is in mid lane. Now, because I started bottom side, I'm able to troll Gragas around this um, bit of terrain here. This is a very good thing to do. Have wards at both sides, or not wards at both sides this time, but if you put a ward in the bush I'm in right now, and a ward right there, nobody can follow you. Azir's here, which is good. I got my ult. I can escape for him. Ari's able to push up a bit. Bot lane gets a kill, while Gragas is just derping around, following me up here. Shivana's going to get really fed with her Sated Devourer. Um, that fucking OP is shit item that I hope to never play against, but... Yeah, she's going to fucking do work with that Sade Devourer this game, and I'm going to try and set up a plays for her. I make quite a few very good plays in this video. You're going to see them later on. But I'm also going to make a few fails, as is typical. No one's perfect. I'm only a Platinum Scrub, so you'll see that. Going to continue back here for the proxy. I just want to try and farm up now. Um, like I said, I know that I've got a big target on the back of my head right now, but thing is... Singed needs to farm. Um, if you're being zoned away from farm, that's the easiest way to get shut down as Singed. So I need to be risky here. I need to take risks. I need to stay here without my all or my ghost up and just keep farming as much as I can while Jax is weak um, early on. Right now, I noticed, I know that Jax is free farming as well right now, but there's nothing that I can do at the moment to stop him. I do not have ult, and I just don't have the stats to back up fighting him in lane. Uh, but you are going to see later on, I will be able to stop him free farming. I can't do it right now, like I said, because unfortunately, he would just, just grind me out of lane. Uh, fuck up there. I should have seen him coming earlier. But like I said, he's still top lane, so it's not a big loss. Dying isn't a, a bigger penalty on Singed as it is on most other champions. But yeah, I definitely could have played that better. I could have noticed him on the ward earlier and got executed there. But yes, I will be able to stop Jack's free farming a little later on. But right now, literally the best thing that I can do is just try and free farm myself. Um, match it for now. He'll get it. He'll get his later on. Don't you worry. TP's up, so I'm going to immediately go back into lane and start pressuring Jax. That's what you want to do. You cannot... I'm, I know I'm letting Jax free farm, but I can't do it a lot. Otherwise, you know, he will just snowball and carry the game. He is out of mana here, so I know I can bully him around very easily. He's not going to be able to retaliate against me too much. Jungler and bot lane doing some work there. Getting quite a few kills. Jax is going back here, which means he's either going to have to use his teleport to come back into lane, or he's going to use his teleport to go help out down there. So, he has to make a choice right now, and I actually forget what he does. Oh, maybe, yeah, he doesn't have his teleport up. Okay, so he just straight up loses CS here. Shivana is going to get away there, so um, that's good. Uh, my few kills I got onto Gragas aren't, you know, making him fucking crazy like they normally do. Uh, uh, my team is very good at escaping from him, which is nice. We have a good disengage team. We got Ari, we got Jana, we got um, Vayne Condemn, and we got me who just peels off everybody, so... Pretty good team to deal with Gragas, I think. All the way back here now, I'm going to continue proxying. Like I said, I love proxying when I'm um, when I'm on the bottom side because it's just so good. Uh, you can just run around this piece of terrain and you can kite people around. and People literally just have to chase you around in circles and they can never catch you if it's only one person coming for you. So, you know, if there's only one person coming for me, I'm fine. It doesn't matter who it is. Azir, Jax, Gragas. If it's only one person, I can just kite them around indefinitely while farming. But two or more people is annoying. But luckily I do have my ult and my ghost up now. And because my ult is up, I know I can stop Jack from free farming. Gonna pop it, run into lane, try and get a goof with Bomini here, but fuck up the angle. Oops. Happens to everybody. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I know I can grind him out of lane now. I got my ult running. Um, I know Azir takes out Shivana at the blue buff, but he leaves himself woefully out of position here. I just come down, drop a Mega Red Hastings, know he's gonna go over this wall. Flip him, pop ghost, just to make sure I want to get this blue buff on him. I'll explain uh, explain that in just a sec. But, you know, Ari getting it's not bad either. Ari ignites Jax. I auto-attack and poison Azir to death. And I get the double buffs right there. Now, this is very good for me right now. Blue buff isn't really that good on Singed. Um, unless you get it really early on. Like, if you get a blue buff level 3 or level 4, like, early on, say, you know, you get a double kill when the enemy jungler ganks. Or, you know, your jungler gets a counter gank and you take the enemy jungler's double buffs. That is very good, um, because you can fling, harass a lot early game with that. 
But at this point in the game, it's not really that good, except for the fact that I do have tier. Um, like I said, I'm sort of a fan of tier now with the royal changes. I think that the less early HP, I really, really notice it, and I really don't like it. So I am going tier uh, a lot more now. And I can just literally leave my poison on and just stack it up for a good two minutes. So that's the good thing about getting a t uh, blue boss when you do have the tier. And it's going to allow me to stack up that, um, that tier a lot faster. Now, Gragas is bot lane, he manages, and Jack, Gragas and Jax were both bot lane, and they managed to um, get a couple kills down there. But I do take the top lane tower. Normally, I wouldn't like taking top lane tower so early, but this is a Jax, um, and I want to pressure him as much as possible. You know, it's not like he's a Garen who, like, you know, Garen free farms, who fucking cares? He's just going to be a tank late game. If he goes damage, you just shit stomp him. So, yeah, uh, I want to take that tower down early on just to pressure. I can, I can pressure Jax anytime now. I'm quite strong. I'm going to be able to stack this two up really fast. I got that kill on Azir and that assist on um, on Jax as well with Ari. So I have a lot of gold. Two grand in gold here. So I'm, I'm just going to go back. And um, now, uh, the boots against this team, I want to go Merc Treads. But I accidentally buy Home Guard Merc Treads and you can't refund them, which is retarded. So <laughs> um, I don't go Giant's Belt. But uh, normally there I would have gone Giant's Belt, um, Merc Treads, and then I would have, like, bought the Trinket there. But, yeah, accidentally buy Home Guard Merc Treads. Not a disaster at all. Uh, Home Guard is f a perfectly fine item on Singe. So, not bad. Probably even helps me in this game quite a bit. Now, a uh, bit of a Hollow Blue around Dragon. I have my TP up, so I'm going to make sure I let my team know. Now, notice this here, overextended here. I'm going to come in, pop my ult. Uh, I don't notice that Shivana's coming up, but I do zone him away from running. I don't get an assist on that kill, unfortunately, but we do take out Azir, which is good. He's the only threat on their team at the moment, uh, the only one who's really got any kills, so being able to shut him down is really nice. Gonna head back up top lane here, still got a bit of my ult running. Gonna pressure Jax a bit more. Obviously, do not want him free farming at all, now that I'm strong enough to deal with him. I can deal with him even without ult now. Um, I can fight him. I got Merc Treads, so his stun isn't as bad. Merc Treads, you know, essential against this enemy team. You know, Morgana, Jax. Um, but basically, if the enemy team has a Morgana, you need Merc Treads. Here I have Boots 2, where he only has Boots 1, so I can catch up to him and flip him. And just continue to press to the top lane. Continue to want to just draw Gragas up here, while my team is just annihilating their bot lane. Shivana gets a double kill. Look at this, like, Gragas is just up here. Like, fucking with me. I'm going to die here, because, you know, Gragas buries me. Ah, uh, buries me. Buries me! He barrels me, and um, Azir comes as well. But... Like, that's fine. Free top. Uh, and we get a free bot tower. So, whatever. I'm perfectly cool with that. I'll take that for two kills and a tower in bot lane. That's my job. Um, this is, like, perfect proxy singe here. Drawing all their attention. Dying for it, but hey, what are you going to do? Um, if you're getting something out of it, it's worth it. As long as Jax is not getting the kills, I'm happy. Man, I'm talking really fast. <laughs> Sorry, guys. My throat's going to be ragged after this. I've got another commentary to record today, but... What are you going to do? This is where the home guards are coming into good use. I can run back top lane and not miss as much of this farm. Early home guards. I actually really like early home guards. Um, I bought it in a game once before and I just really like the mobility you get early on. So, yeah. I think I might get them earlier on from now on because they're really nice. Letting my team um, know that Jax has no flash and also letting my team know that their enemy team is so predictable. They just keep coming for me, like, I love the fear that people have, like, pl playing against people who have seen me before. Uh, they get fucking so scared. I don't know why. Sorry, I just burped. <laughs> I'm so rude. I'm horrible. Oh, well. But yeah, playing against people uh, who played against me before, it's just so funny. Um, the fear that they have. They just want to shut me down so hard, but if I know what I'm doing and I'm not tilting, which I'm not this game, I'm not tilting at all this game, I'm really proud of myself, because normally I probably would tilt. Um, you can't shut me down. You just can't. I know what I'm doing. I've played so many games on this champion. I know how things go. Get a bit more harassed down on Jax here. He's pretty, like, he's half health, so I can grind him out a bit more. Want to stop him from getting as much farm as I can. A lot of pings going down, but I know, you know, Gragas and Azir are both there, so I'm able to pressure Jax here. You notice me dropping random Mega Adhesives, like, behind me just every now and again. It's just to set up a Mega Adhesive flip if I ever need to do it, like, if he jumps on me. 
But now I notice I can get a flank here. Azir Tower's here, but I have ult and I have pretty much all my HP, so I don't give a fuck about Azir's tower. I got my team here, so we're gonna go in for a fight. Um Azir does a wall there that knocks him away, but probably ends up getting him killed. He probably could have killed someone before he died if he didn't wall. Uh Greg sets a black shield. I accidentally flip him, forgets notice. Gets stunned by Morgana, but I'm gonna keep running towards her. Um we're just gonna clean up here, I get a good flank on. Steal the kill from Vayne because I'm a dickhead. I mean, like, kill for Vayne, kill for me. Both are equally as good, in my opinion. But I'm just selfish, and I decide to take the kill. Gonna head back top lane now, try and push Jax out. I am, like, half HP, so I can't really fight him at this point. But I can push out the way before I uh, recall and return. I do have home guard, so, you know, I can just come right back in. But yeah, doing really well right now. We have a definite turret advantage. Um, you know, their kills on me obviously aren't paying off at all. Uh, if, if Jax had gotten the kills instead of Gragas, you know, maybe he would be pressuring me top lane now and just being able to fight, be able to fight me, but the point is, I am not shut down if I'm able to 1v1 the top laner, so they did not shut me down. That That's how I try to, you know, figure out if I'm shut down. Like, if I can fight the enemy top laner, that means I'm not shut down. That means that I'm perfectly capable of continuing the game. If I'm bullying around the enemy top, even though I've died four times, you know, you, they have failed miserably to shut me down. Gonna recall here, got my TP up, so gonna tell my team. Dragon is gonna spawn soon. We did get the timer on it. They got the first dragon off of that uh, double killing bot lane when Jax went down there. But that's alright. Um, Janna got the timer on it, so 15 seconds. I have my TP up, so I wanna save it for that, obviously, but I'm gonna head top lane. Just before it spawns, I'm gonna take a drink. Hold on. Ah, I bought water this time, guys. I didn't start a commentary with like one sip left, which is good. So yep, um, enemy team is pressuring around Dragon, obviously. I'm going to head top lane, but I'm going to notice that um, Morgana and uh, Caitlyn will be sandwiched between um, our, our team, our bot lane, and some wards. So I'm going to TP in there in just a second. Going to push this out. Now see there, I'm looking at the map here. I see the ward at the enemy blue buff. I know that they're sandwiched between us and the Vayne and Janna. Uh, me and the Vayne and Janna, so I'm going to teleport in here. I have ult, I have ghost. I have to make a split second decision in this fight, which could have gone really bad. I decide to stick on Caitlyn here instead of running into Peel for the team. I decide to, um, you know, just keep her out of the fight. At first, I think it's a mistake because, you know, Jax does get uh, those two kills, but then Shivana jumps in and, you know, she's just ridiculous right now. I get the final auto attack on Caitlyn, take her down. I want to try and get... Now, I'm fucking ridiculous here. I have my ult running. Uh, I'm pretty much unkillable. I'm going to run straight into the middle of the enemy team. Try and, um, you know, just keep them away from Ari, but they do die. I know I can um, fight Jax here. He gets a stun on both of us, unfortunate. But, uh, Shimano does go down. I take out Jax. Let's see it. Such low health though, I'm able to flip him again and just kill him. Actually, no, I don't kill him. Shimano kills him with, uh, the burn. So, yes, uh, last man standing in that team fight with, uh, 300 HP. Now, several things that contributed to my good performance in that team fight. One, I had both my ult and ghosts. So, I was able to just stick on Caitlyn and just eliminate her. She was not a factor in that fight at all. Two, I had both... My ult running and my flash running. I had about 25 HP regen a second with both of them running. So I gained just so much HP in that fight. It was crazy. And I was just able to stick on the enemy. Had my ult running. Had all that extra MR. My ult is level 2, which is good. I got even more. So yeah, that, that just contributed to us um, winning that fight there. And I do consider that a fight win if we get two kills on Singed and two kills on, you know, Devour or Shivana. Now, resetting here. Just everyone's going straight back to the dragon because everyone died. I go behind here again, but um, I'm, I'm looking at Caitlyn. I want to go for Caitlyn. I don't notice that I just get jumped on by literally everybody. Um, bit of a mistake here but on my part, but I'm going to come back from a big time. Uh, walk into the Caitlyn trap. Merc Shred saved my life so hard there. I'm very low. Now, I have to make a decision here. I want to recall, but I don't have TP to come back in. I know that my team might lose a 45. So, I decide to bait the enemy team here. I decide I'm going to run in. I'm going to drop a Mega Hasive. Azir goes for me. Azir flashes for me. That was a very bad mistake, and that lost in the team fight. If he'd gone for Vayne there, she would almost certainly have died, and we could have... Um, well, no, I, re I reckon we would have still won the team fight, but he could have cleaned up a bit more. He could have gotten a few more kills, I reckon, in my opinion. But yeah, he went for me. I baited him in so hard there, and we just end up getting the dragon and just annihilating the enemy team. So, yeah, that went very well. Gonna head back to the uh, top lane. Just to farm up these minions, and yeah, we're just going to continue on with that. Ah. Oh, throat's a bit hoarse. A lot of talking recently. Been making a lot of videos lately. Been really enjoying it. It's so much fun. 
Ranks disabled at the moment due to the recall bug, so I can't make any live commentaries today, unfortunately, but... What are you gonna do? Next commentary will be a non-singe commentary, by the way. You, there's an important lesson to learn from it as well, so... That's why I do it. I don't just make singe stuff, guys. I like doing other things as well. Can't do singed every day. We run out. <laughs> run out of things. Here! Yeah. Look at this. Like, they're still coming for me. I don't understand. I don't have a ghost, but Shivana's here. Say to devour Shivana. 2 OP. Just annihilates Jax. I got realized now, so I'm just laughing at this Gragas as I slow him down. Um, and yeah. We're just gonna get an easy double kill. And now I got ghosts up, so I'm gonna go for them. Ults up in 5 seconds. Uh, Morgana ult is here, so I just fling her. Her black shield's off, and I wouldn't be able to catch us here with the ult running, so I just fling her instead. But now my ult's up, so I'm gonna go in for a Caitlyn, but while I'm going in for Caitlyn, Azir just shits all over Shivana. So I'm gonna go in for Azir now. Try to get him. Flip him. Um, Janna tanks the Caitlyn shot for me, but she didn't really need to. Uh, I had the shield on. But, yeah, good thought from her. She did die for me. Uh, she didn't need to. What are you gonna do? Vayne runs in here and just shits on... <laughs> shits on the poor Azir, who's trying so damn hard to carry this game, but he just can't. So now Vayne's getting pretty fed. I'm definitely pretty fed. Um, farm isn't as high as I'd like it to be, but I do have four kills. That's much better than Sin should have. So, doing very well this game. Now, I'm going for a uh, Banshee's Veil straight after my Rylize. Not going for Leandris because the team is not particularly tanky. Gragas and Jax aren't tanky enough yet to justify Leandris in my opinion. So I'm going to go for that Banshee's Veil because I have a lot of AP. Uh, Azir is doing a lot of damage, Grog is doing a lot of damage, Jax has some AP as well. So Banshee's is a really nice choice, and obviously the spell shield for Morgana bindings is very nice. So, I'm gonna go for Banshee's before Leandri's. Just, um, that, that's what you usually do. Um, unless you're, like, 50% of the time you'll go for Leandri's third item, but probably another 50% you'll go for, um, you go for a, a tank item. Because, you know, sometimes you're ahead enough to justify it, sometimes you're not. But yeah, this game, I just started to go for uh, Banshee's Veil. Very nice MR item, obviously. Could have gone for Banner or Command, but... <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it was necessary. I wanted to be really tanky, because my primary usefulness in this fight, uh, these fights is my tankiness, so... I'm happy to just be tanky. Notice that the enemy team is pushing up again. The good thing about being pushed in so far top lane, uh, is I can flank... Mid lane whenever I can. Avoid this Caitlyn trap here, but they they have this warded, obviously. Now, watch this here. I drop a goo flip here, hoping to fling his ear into it. I get the goo flip here, and that wins us a steam fight. That is why the goo flip is so important to master. That single-handedly wins us a steam fight right here. The fact that I'm able to flip him into there and set him up for an Ari charm with that two-second buffed Singe goo flip, and we literally 5 0 them here. Just over that one play. That is why you need to master the goo flip, guys. Cannot stress it enough. The goo flip now is so powerful. It is an essential sins skill to learn. That and sky auto attacks, you need to learn. Um, that is why people who say sins are easy are deluded. You need to learn how to do that. Even I can't do it properly 100% of the time. It's very hard to do. But I've said it once and I'll say it again. You need to learn how to goo flip. It is very important. I ignored it for the first month it was out. Then I saw Johnny Holmes doing the goo, goo flip and I'm like, holy fuck, that is amazing. So I learned how to do it. And yes, it is phenomenal. So learn how to do the goo flip. It'll win you team fights like that. It'll win them hard. Now, we're able to get Baron off that 5 for 0. I'm just pushing down mid lane a bit here, but, you know, I'm, you know, I can't. I'm singed. Uh, I would have taken too much damage from Azir there if I tried to take it down, so I'll just back out. But, you know, now my team is all back. They've recalled and they're back with the uh, quick recall from Baron. And, you know, I'm just hanging around. I'm full HP. I got my ghost up. Notice Caitlyn going for this ward. My team is close by. Try and chase her out. Keep the ward. Going in for, with my ghost here. Team is engaging. Azir gets the uh, wall, takes us out. I decide to run around, get around Azir as well. I jump Mega and Haste here, just trying to do anything that I can to help help fight. But uh, Ari gets a charm on Azir. He's very dead. Jack jumps back in and just melts. Uh, Shivana is just ridiculous right now. And yeah, just easy set of kills right there. Able to take down, you know, Gragas, Jax, and, you know, just win a team fight there. <laughs> Ari flashes in to get a charm onto Morgana, but gets dead and dies, unfortunately. What are you going to do? But because of that, we're able to get top and bot 
uh, inhibitor turret and inhibitor. Uh, Janna and I are going to work on this one, and Vayne is going to work on mid lane. So there we go. We go from me getting, you know, gang banged early on, and giving first blood at a minute and a half, to you know, literally shit stomping the enemy here. Um, very, very good recovery by me. I played exceptionally well this game. Um, I knew exactly what was going to happen. I knew exactly what the enemy team was doing. I knew exactly how to respond to it. And I had a team that was smart enough to be able to take advantage of it. Pretty rare uh, that I get all of those things at once. But this is one of the games where that happened. This is actually my win. My promo win to Plat 3, I think. So, I'm pretty happy that I got such a good game. <laughs> yeah, almost hit Diamond, guys. I'm getting there. Then I can put Diamond at the start of all my video titles. And everyone will watch me instead of being a Platinum Scrub. <laughs> Notice a fight going on here, so I just TP in. Easy two kills. Uh, not a problem at all. Team didn't need help with Dragon. So, yeah. We just destroyed them there. Game is almost over. We're going to just push down this um, third inhibitor and turret. If I had hit that charm there, that would be very good. But she did miss, unfortunately. What are you going to do? Can't hit them all. Uh, she does die. I flip his ear, he dies. Jax is going to TP in here for some reason. But he's just going to get shit on. Um, we have good disengage, and Shimano's ridiculous. So, gonna kill her here. Ah, uh, kill her. Kill him. And we are just going to literally end this game off of that. So yes, there you go. That's how you come back from getting behind early on as Proxy Singed. If somebody knows your Proxy, and they know who you are, and they played against you before, and they know what you're gonna do, then you can really take advantage of that, because it means they're probably scared of you, and they're gonna tell the jungler to try and shut you down. That's, mm, it's not as good as just them ignoring you, but it's still, you can use everything to your advantage. You learn to love being camped. That is what you need to learn as Proxy Singed. Any top laner even. Learn to love being camped. If you are being camped, you are literally at the top of the map in the arse end of fucking nowhere, and your bot lane can just shit on the enemy bot lane, your mid lane can shit on the enemy mid laner. Love being camped. Learn how to evade uh, ganks. Singed is a beautiful champion for that. Bait people hard and win games. I'm trying to try hard this uh, inhibitor, uh, this nexus so hard here because, like I said, this is my promo to Plat 3 and I want to win really hard. So I'm like, fucking finish the game! But yeah, we won here. Nothing the enemy team can do. Um, and yeah. That's it, guys. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate, uh, appreciate, appreciate the view, I suppose. <laughs> Never been good at outros, but thank you all for watching. Uh, non singe commentary up next, but don't worry. There's still something you can learn from it, so check it out. Make sure you do. And uh, there you go. That's a victory. Have a good day, week, month, year. Life! Have a good life. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll shut up now. I'll, I'll see you guys later.